Um, I think it's pronounced Crew 90. What's up, boys and girls? It's your boy Johnny, aka Crew90. Today, we're going to be talking about Phantom Sensations. So, in my last video, we talked about Phantom Pain, but Phantom Sensations, while it's in the same family, it's actually entirely different, and it's, in my opinion, much more interesting. So, Phantom Sensations. For me, I'm missing my leg, so I'm going to be referring to my leg, but it does, uh, you know, obviously vary depending on which part of your body you're missing. But so, for me, Phantom Sensations are my brain almost forgets that I don't have a leg and still in a lot of ways acts as if it's there. So I might see ants crawling on a sidewalk and you know how you get like that feeling like there's ants all over your body? Well I will get it like they're on my leg. Or if um, I see uh, a bug flying around, I might get the sensation that the bug landed on my leg. Now those are minor things, but like really interesting ones are occasionally throughout the day, I will actually get an itch on my leg which is no longer there and it will go away when I absentmindedly scratch the itch even though I'm, I'm literally scratching carbon fiber. Uh, if somebody drops a box or uh, something heavy onto my foot even though this is literally rubber and uh, I want to show you this this is you know my sock I always just use a busted sock for it because honestly the only part you're ever going to see is the top. This is what my foot looks like. It's completely plastic. In fact, it's even broken at parts. Bottom line is, something will get dropped onto my foot and I will instinctively react, oh! But not only will it just be like an instant reaction, I can actually feel the quick burst before my brain realizes, oh wait, there's nothing there. Now, of course, the pain that I'll feel from something landing on it won't linger like you would imagine, but I will feel the initial pain. But what gets even more interesting about phantom sensations is my foot and my leg will react to different things based on what I'm doing with my real limb. So I wanted to give a quick demonstration of that. So I have a couple of the common things that I have that happens. Let me just grab these items. So heat, very interesting. If I put heat near my real foot, I can already feel it right now. I can feel a tingling sensation going along right about here. And even though this is a fake foot, I'm gonna demonstrate where I'm feeling it on my real foot. I can feel pain, not pain, but like a tingling sensation right about here, which is interesting because that's about the spot where I was putting the flame. If I put the flame towards my heel, see now it's very weird, but I feel that still in this same area, but now up over here. Um, cold sensations, a piece of ice. If I put a piece of ice, see, that's very cold on my real foot, but now this foot feels almost like it's shrinking in. It's almost like it's contracting from the cold. If I put it up near my toes, I can literally feel like, uh, I feel it in this whole foot along the whole thing. And this is one that has always made me laugh. When I get out of the shower or out of the pool, anywhere where I need to dry myself off, when I start drying off my real foot, it gives an extreme tickling sensation all along the inside and the middle of my fake foot. Even though there's nothing there, like I'm not even talking, I'm, I don't even have to have my prosthetic on. I could have this completely off, but I will still feel those sensations where my foot should be. Um, this one is one of the most prominent ones, is, is a tickling sensation. Like right now, I can literally feel my, my toes kind of curling up from the tickling. And it's, it's a very, um, very noticeable sensation. Now, phantom sensations can come in other forms too. Throughout the day, I might randomly feel like my toes are crossing each other. And this is actually very annoying because it's like, it feels like my two, two of my toes are kind of like crossed and you can't do anything to fix it because obviously you can't uncross your toes. So you have to just kind of deal with it until it goes away. Um, other times you might get the sensation of having like a stubbed toe, um, but it's, it's just not real. And again, you have, there's nothing you can really do. You can like maybe manipulate the nerves to kind of trigger a different feeling if you don't have your prosthetic on or are able to easily get to your residual limb. But really that's about all that you can do. Um, 
Other times you will get like, uh, well, for me personally, I'll get like an itching, uh, almost like a, like a mosquito bite or something. It's like a prominent, steady itching feeling on my foot or on like my ankle area and you can't relieve it because there's nothing actually there. So those are all um, some examples of, of phantom sensations that I and, and a lot of the amputees that I have talked to uh, actually deal with on a regular basis. So uh, pretty interesting stuff, but uh, as always, it's your boy Crew90 and I'll catch you next time.